Okay, sorry, I tried to do something different about the lighting, but it's just not working out. This room, it like does not get sunlight until the afternoon, and then when it does, like in the summer, it's way too hot, right? Well, not really hot, because we have new windows and all that, but it's just a lot, it's just too much. Um, and then in the afternoon, while well, everyone's home, so I can't really just do what I do as far as my videos, so it's kind of a bummer. But, um, oh well. And then my husband's like, just go upstairs, you know, put your craft room upstairs where I have a, we have a pool table in this big, like, loft area. Um... And that's even darker. Like, there's only two windows up there. And I'm like, there's just... No, we're good. Um, okay, so... Dollar Tree. Tons of stuff. Um, again, I like to get the little things for uh, Valentine's. <laughs> this is so funny. So they have different Valentine's like this. This is really just for my daughter. It's only a six-piece thing. But, you know, if you want it, obviously you cut them up. Um, it has perforations. And each kid gets a cute little um, eraser. Miranda loves stuff like this. Right now she has little dolls that this would actually work out with. So just so cute, like little teapot and everything. Cute little tic-tac-toe game. She likes to play tic-tac-toe and I thought this was adorable and it's actually a nice sizable little thing. So I thought that was a fun toy for her to have. Um, just picked up some stickers for the goodie bags. Again, um, in the last haul that I showed you guys, I picked up their notepads and like pens and things that go along with this theme but then they have these and I'm like where did they didn't have anything else that goes along with it though but these are super cute so I'm like what I would have loved to pick up stuff that was this theme with the little truck and everything but really what they were having first or out they're bringing out a bunch of other stuff like even from last week when I went um a bunch of new stuff this week um I did grab a couple of these little dividers oh I was gonna show you guys um I, I didn't look and it's probably in this in the um, uh, office area because it's jot stuff. But they had this one the last time I went and um, I forgot to show it to you guys because I think this is pretty cool because you can put all kinds of stuff in here and maybe it's round like this to put like washi tape. I don't know. Let me see. I have some washi here somewhere. Where are they? I have a washi organizer that I put washi in and now of course I don't even know where it is. It was literally sitting on my desk. I will find it in just a minute. But other than that, ooh, do I have another washi somewhere that I can put on there? That is insane. Okay. Well, anyway, when I find it, because it's sitting here on my desk somewhere, <laughs> so I'm like, how am I not seeing it now? Um, it looks like you can put little washi rolls in there, which is really cool, and then a bunch of other, you know, little spots. So today for the kids, I picked these up, because um, when they play with their perler beads, a lot of times they have to pick out the bead colors they want, and they don't have anything to put them in. So even though these look like small compartments, this will hold hundreds of beads in each one of these little spots. And then these guys are um, customizable, which I thought was really cute. So I grabbed two of those for one from Miranda, one for Dorian, so you can test that out. Um, I think that'll work for them. Oh, there it is. Washi washi. Let me just grab. We'll do a little experiment. I grabbed a small roll and a larger roll. Sorry guys. Ooh. And I want to get to the hand cream because my hands need lotion, but I want to show them to you. So. There's a larger roll, and this is a small roll. Obviously, the small one will be fine. Oh, they both work. They both fit. So, pretty cool. I like that. Um, but yeah, so those were, I think, like I said, in the office area. And then they have these cute little scented stickers, supposedly. And there's six in a pack, so obviously for a class, you have to buy several of these. But I picked these up mostly for Miranda, because she loves stickers, to so just mess with them. And let me sell them. Oh, they are scented. They smell like... Like fake strawberry. Like the, you know, when you have little scented stickers, those have a very kind of like strawberry perfumey smell. So these are exactly that. How cute. If I had seen these before, you know what I'm saying? If they had these last time I went, I would have got these instead of maybe something else that I got for the stock, for the stockings, for the um, things. But I already spent so much money on <laughs> little uh, goodie bag things. I didn't want to have to buy basically five packs of these because there's 25 kids in her class so it's like I every time it has six or eight I always have to buy a whole extra pack just to get the one more you know um so yeah so that's kind of a bummer but that's that um and these are just for the kids to eat because they love these but I did get these for valentine's but I did get some extra ones just the Haribo gold bears and it's the two flavors that I love the most so it's like the little white usually pineapple and cherry flavor which, yeah, pineapple. Oh, and raspberry. See, I always thought they were cherry. But they're so good. And then they have these cute Russell Stover hearts. Remember I told you guys, Russell Stover is actually pretty decent. Um, and they have these called Itty Bitty Hearts. And it says it has 50 chocolate mini hearts, approximately. And they are the actual size of this. And I bought myself a pack to eat. And I bought some for the kids. And I bought some for their teachers. Because I thought those were really cute. Look at that. They're just little chocolate hearts. I wonder if you can use them, like, on treats or... I don't know. They'll probably melt. But that's really cute. Um... 
Okay, I'm trying to get to what I want to get to here. They do have some other, these are really good. I was really impressed with their coconut chocolates. So um, this is something they pulled out for um, Easter. I think they have a Valentine looking set too um, with the coconut. So it's dark chocolate with coconut. It actually is a lot of coconut and it's not just like fake. They do have one called coconut cream, which I'm not into cause like I'd rather have that. But, um, but they do have those. So real quick in the nails and all that section, they had some fun things. Some things were just very minimal of, so I'm sure it's because people bought them up because, like, why wouldn't you? Um, I'm trying to get to them. Sorry. Lots of other little candies and things here. Doo -doo -doo. I'll try these out for you guys, too. Okay. Um, well, there's more things, but let me try and find them. So they have these ice, and you already know the pure ice are the ones that they sell at Walmart for I think $1.97 each one, right? So about two bucks. So these were two for a dollar. Obviously you don't choose what's in here. And both packs that I found, this is all I had left, had the yellow one in it. So I'll definitely do a giveaway of those. Um, and this one has like a bright orange color. And this one has a really pretty holographic that I think I might already have. If I look at my stash, if I already have this, I'll just give this away the way it is. But um, really cute for a buck. I mean, these are the full size, you know, polishes. So that's cool. Other than you can't choose <laughs> the yellow, right? So there's that. I got these little loose shimmer powders, mostly for Miranda right now. She has her little vanity and she likes to play with like play makeup. And I figure I can help her put like some little shimmer on her face with these guys, um, LA colors. And they're just, uh, instead of those tubs that they sell it into like a flat little disc. And then I want to try this out. So this is Sessie and Chic, which is basically, I would say the Dollar Tree brand. Okay, sorry about that. My son had woken up and needed breakfast. Yes, he's 19 and I need to make his breakfast. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, cuticle oil and nail strength. It says, it says, help strengthen and maintain healthy nails and cuticles, moisturizes vitamin E. Now saying that, what's cool is I had seen right next to there or like in that same area in the beauty aisle, I guess, they had whole vials or bottles of vitamin E. Now you can trust that. I mean, if you trust that it's vitamin E legit, great. If you think it's just oil, <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm assuming it has to have a certain amount of vitamin E for it to say that. But really, I would buy vitamin E vials, you know, at like CVS for like $6 for like a little amount, you know, because uh, it's good for your cuticles. And, um, and so I thought that was kind of interesting. So this is basically a small bottle and it has a little uh, dabber there. It says, compared to Sally Hansen vitamin E nail and cuticle oil, which is literally the one I like to use. If I ever run out of like a cuticle oil dispenser I fill it in with a little Sally Hansen one you know and it just says yeah it doesn't say what's in it but you know on the front it says that it's cuticle nail and oil strength cuticle oil and nail strength like it doesn't really say it says a hands with vitamin E so it's probably cut down with some but let's try it out since we're here and literally by my desk right now I always keep um my orly one which is argan oil and that one smells so awesome but this does not really have a discernible scent. It's a lot of times it's like lemony or something. They try to make it smell something like that, but I don't know. It's a little bit of a scent, but it's very faint. I can't even place it like to tell you like, oh, it smells like this or that. Um, but cool. I mean, like I said, I don't know if it's cut with something or if it's just pure vitamin E. If it feels pure vitamin E, I think it would say that. But cute little glut. It's not glass. It's like a plastic bottle, so uh, very portable there. So that's that. I did get some utterly smooth. The reason I went even to the Dollar Tree was to get more like hand lotions, especially because Dorian gets kind of ashy and I want him to have something in his backpack because he does get kind of annoyed that, you know, he gets ashy. So I was like, well, I wonder if he'll use it at school. So I had this utterly smooth one, but for him, I got this suave cocoa shea one. So these are all from the Dollar Tree. I had stopped at Walmart. Obviously, I have some things from Walmart too. And, um, you know, they have like $5 doctor something or other you know smaller ones and I'm like I'll just go get the Dollar Tree because <laughs> to be honest I didn't want to spend five bucks for something like I always keep these in my purse so I was looking for the Nivea ones the little jars but they didn't have them right now so they had the utterly smooth and I've used it before and it's just fine so hopefully I don't know if you can tell my hands probably look better after this lotion and that cuticle oil than how we started off here they were a little dry um oh my Ring is all dull now, but that's okay. <laughs> so there's that. The Coco Shea Nourishing Lotion. They have this one, and then they have their basic scent. And this one, again, smells like, you know, cocoa butter, a little chocolatey, a little vanilla. Really nice. 
Oh, the other thing I was excited to see is they had the top coat. I love their Kiss Gel top coat. I like the Kiss Gel polishes. I've done a review on them, and I know some people share their experience where, like, they chip in two or three days. Other people say, oh, they lasted forever. And I think it has to do with the colors and the formula, like, the individual colors. Because I've had some where, like I told you, I put it on, you know, noonish or whatever, go to sleep, and in the morning I wake up and I have, like, lines from, like, my hair or whatever on the polish because it still hasn't dried, even though... It seemed kind of dry, but I, I don't know if it just, I, I don't know why. But I have other ones where they dry pretty quickly and I had no issues and, you know, they wore longer. So I think it just depends. But I do like the top coat, so whenever I see one there at the Dollar Tree, because sometimes they don't have it, um, I like to grab one. Um, the other thing they had right now currently are these Wet n Wild colors. Um, you know, again, they're usually a buck, a buck fifty anyway at uh, stores, but... Um, they had three colors, so these two, Tickled in Pink, Putting on Airs, which is cute, and then they had um, like a glittery one that I already have, like a pink glitter, so I didn't pick that up, but I did want to show you guys these colors, I thought they were pretty. And then um, they had these, so I was like, oh, when I saw one, I thought, oh, this is so cute, let me see if they have another one for Miranda, because if I buy something like this, she wants to use it, and then it gets all nasty, because <laughs> she does not care, she'll put every little dirty finger in there. And then uh, they had one more, and it was like, it had fallen down, and it was upside down like this, and when I picked it up, it's exactly the same as you can see, the packaging is different, it's still LA Colors. Uh, they're super cute, because they're like little macaron, but what's interesting, this one has a cute little, it says, you look great today. And I think this one only says their name. So let me open this one, because I'm going to give the other one to Miranda. Miranda. And uh, this one, it says it's scented. I, the reason I even said Miranda is because it makes me laugh. I always call Miranda or Miranda or Mirandita, whatever. And um, plus Miranda is more Spanish sounding, right? And she has a little friend who basically her mom speaks Spanish mostly or only. And... Um, and she's like, oh, I think it's so funny. She's telling me in Spanish. I think it's so funny whenever Betsy, ta her little daughter's name is Betsy, <laughs> talks about Miranda. She's like, cause she always says, Miranda. Como? She's like, I know, no sé cómo dice Miranda. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's funny. She says Miranda. Or, and then I told Miranda, Miranda. It sounds different. But like, she made fun of, like, you know, was pointing at her little daughter saying Miranda. Um, so the LA Colors Macaron Lip Balm, it's not easy to open. I thought I had to, oh, I thought it popped open, but it's a, I don't know what this is. It does have a little twist to it, I guess. It has, like, little tabs here. It does not smell super grapey, but then again, that utterly smooth. It has a very clean scent to it. It's kind of coming through. I'm smelling that more than anything. Yeah, it's very faint, if even. Interesting. It, and actually, in the corner here, it says lavender. Oh, interesting. I didn't even realize that. Maybe that's why I think it smells like my hand <laughs> lotion. No, it's very faint. So this one is grape. So that's good for Miranda because that's more of a kid thing. And this one's more of a lavender scent. But look how cute that is. So I want to try those out for you guys or at least show those to you. So there's that. Um, let me see. Oh, just a couple other things. So, you know, I always love to buy their little cheap um, socks. And I've told you guys, if you buy the socks, great. Do not get the ones that have like glittery yarn or whatever put in here because they're itchy, scratchy. It doesn't feel good. Like, at least, I'm not even that sensitive and it still bothers me. So, I mean, maybe you're different. But again, macaron, which I'm in love with, so I thought it was super cute. And then these long ones. And the long socks pretty much end lower than your knee, even though it says they're knee high. They're not really that high because by the time they stretch, you know, they're a little short, but they're super cute. Um, another set of markers that I found there, um, it says conforms to ASTM D4236, and these are double-sided, and this is the only pack that was left, so I don't know if that means because they're good or because, you know, that's all they had. I don't know. Let's try it out. I have this thing here that we, uh, tried out a couple days ago. So this one's like a bright pink. It has a brush and a fine tip, it says. So let's see. I'll close up a little bit. And I don't know what I want to write. Nope. I, I would not consider this a brush tip, to be honest. <laughs> Let me see. Sometimes the letter H kind of helps us see some like because I'm pressing hard. And then come up and press hard. I don't know. I, I would not say this is a brush tip. It's just a cone-shaped tip. Um, I mean, it, it has some movement, but it's not as easy to use as like a calligraphy. Like the kind of pens that you do hand lettering with. It's okay. And then let's see the fine tip. The fine tip is just like those same little cheap marker tips you always get. So this one, it's okay. Obviously that's what it is. I don't know, let me try another one. Hmm, doo doo doo, let's see. Well that's a little bit better. Maybe I just have to learn to use it better. I don't know. They're okay. Cute colors though, they're very bright and vibrant. 
And oh, this is the last thing I want to show you guys. And I was kind of excited to see this yarn. And what's funny is, let me show you. It is just yarn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the brand is Premier or what, but this is just yarn, worsted weight. So this is your acrylic basic yarn. Uh, let me see. Yeah, PremierYarns.com. Made in Turkey. I didn't even read that, because if I did, I probably would have gotten more of it. Because it's a buck. It's, you know, it's regular size uh, yarn. I don't know if this is a better price than Super Saver, though. Like, let's say you were to get Super Saver yarn, or I love this yarn, whatever they have at, like, Hobby Lobby. It's like two eighty eight, three dollars $3, and it's a big roll, right? So if you were to get maybe two or three of these, you're back at the same price. So, but at the same time, if you want to make a little project, you don't need too much, and you only have a little bit of dollars, then maybe it makes more sense to grab a few of these. But they did have this pretty pink, peachy color, red, and black and I guess because I'm in the Valentine mood that I got those colors and maybe if you guys want a review on it maybe something easy I can make is like a hat or something that I can incorporate these things and see what it feels like and looks like at the end so I thought that was kind of cool they had um I think they had like a purple color dark blue um white yellow they had a several colors so I was in, uh, surprised by that I would like to see that they would continue making them you know or carrying it because a lot of times they'll have stuff and then they never carry it again but who knows but my hands right now feel nice and hydrated. Everything's good. Cute oil's okay. I did want to mention one other thing. I didn't pick it up today, but I picked these up when I was in Reedley and I <clears throat> kept breaking nails. Um, so it's a pack of 12. I've already taken one out. They're just emery boards. And these are the emery boards that you use on your natural nails, okay? These are not the kind that you would use on acrylic nails by any means. But I used to love the ones that were larger and puffier that you would get for natural nails. They look almost like acrylic nail ones, like the, you know, like, like these guys. But for natural nails, the only thing is, this is a one for acrylics, that um, I can't find them anymore. And when you do, they have like a squishy center. And I hate that because once you start using it after a while, it just bends. And then you have to like hold it really sm in a small area to keep it nice, you know, to use it. <laughs> so I don't know what happened or what companies were thinking or they're like, oh, this is cheaper. Let's do that. But I hate those. So I'm back to old school 1980s emery boards, but they work really well. So I just want to let you guys know if you see these, pick them up. I mean, they, they work it just is super 80s, <laughs> but they're sassy and chic, the same brand as the uh, that cuticle oil. Um, okay, so those are a couple things I just want to try out for you guys and show you that they carry right now. Oh, a couple other things. I didn't know which one Miranda wanted to pick, so I grabbed them both. I wasn't going to let her pick out her own Valentine's, but we hardly ever go to the store. Like, I don't like taking the kids to the Dollar Tree or Walmart because then they want everything. So, 16 Valentines with 16 notepads. So this one does come with its own little notepads. These are little Shopkins. They're super cute. She loves Shopkins. And I figure if she doesn't like whatever, she can just keep the little notepads, right? And she'll, she'll use them up. And these are LOL, even though, I don't know how I feel LOL, you guys. What do you guys think? Uh, they're cute, but they're kind of a little out there. Um, anyway, <laughs> quick story. We're at uh, Target this weekend. Oh, I have a couple things from Target, too, now that I mentioned that. But, um... They had little LOL dolls and, you know, they were on clearance because they're just trying to get rid of them from, you know, I guess from, uh, what's it called? Um, Christmas and all that. And then the boy one, Ryan's like, oh, I want a boy. I'm like, okay. And I was looking at it and like literally on the front real big, it says anatomically correct doll. <laughs> and I was like, what does that mean? And my husband was like, just put it back. <laughs> so I was like, what? Why? But anyway, so I remember there was like some hubbub about that. Like their dolls are anatomically correct, which is weird because the girls, I mean, it's the little body and they're wearing their little unders, I guess. But like, what does that mean? So I'm like, huh. So now I'm curious, like I need to buy one. I guess I can Google it and we'll see what that means. But so these are little glitter. They have uh, tattoos with glitter on them. Obviously, these aren't for, you know, everybody. Um... But I thought they were super cute, so I grabbed her a pack, and I'm going to let her decide which ones she wants to use. So those are those. And then at Walmart, they had a bunch of cute little things like this tin. It didn't say how much it was. Somebody had, like, placed it somewhere else, so I just grabbed it. And I think it was only 3 bucks, three eighty eight. So I thought that was pretty good, actually, because I made Sanrio legit certified, and it just says Valentine Mail. Well, that's the sticker on the outside. And it comes with some stickers for her. I thought it, um, it was hard for me. I was reading my Valentine stickers, like Valentine stickers. Well, anyway, it's just the little stickers here. It has a cute little flag, and it's a nice size. So I always get something like this for my kids, and then I'll put their little treats in there for their Valentine. So that's for Miranda. We've got a couple of pans and cookie cutters and things I'll share with you guys. So they have these Valentine's Day six cavity cake pan. I like the size of this for like a brownie and I love having a lot of edges on our brownies. So I like to do things like this for them. And I think this is going to be super cute. So they're a little deeper. Um, <laughs> this is interesting. It says, I just read this. 
Uh, designed to resist high temperatures for short periods of time only. Do not place on a direct flame or use where temperatures exceed 220 Fahrenheit. What? <laughs> um, what temperature do we bake at normally, guys? 350, right? How is that? I'm probably going to return this because I don't want to mess with that. That's really uh, kind of dumb, especially because they're showing a uh, baked item. It's not... I don't know. And then this is from Sweet Creations, which I know know what's up. This is like the Walmart brand. So this one um, is a heart cookie pan. And I only got one. Usually I'll get two because I don't like having to switch it out and go to do the next one. But I figure if you use shortbread or something like that, it'll be fine. Like your shortbread will wait. It's not a big deal. But I don't like making batters and then waiting 20 minutes to put the next set of batter in, you know? Um, so I was thinking I can shortbread this. But let's see if this has a warning. No, this one has a lifetime guarantee, which is nice. I'm gonna return this. It was only four bucks, but um, that's crazy. All right, so here's some other fun little things. So cookie cutters, I picked these up because they're adorable and I'm gonna have to go look because I don't remember if I bought this one last year or if they had this last year because it has the rainbow, it has a unicorn. And this is not my favorite unicorn shape. I like like the whole body unicorn, which is super cute. And then it has the double hearts. And I think this was just over two bucks, almost three bucks. I think. And then this one's $1.44, and I like this one because it had the little rainbow heart, which is adorable. And then it has basically the same cookie cutter, so I will give away one of these cookie cutters. Um, they did also have this same cookie cutter in different sets, but they had this one with a spatula, which is adorable, and it was $4, so basically you're paying for more of the spatula. Um, cute little erasers, like, uh, that I'll include in Miranda's little goodie bags. So these, I like these better than the Dollar Tree ones. So the popsicle and all that was cute. The little rainbow heart and then the little rainbows. So I had grabbed these. Oh, they have little smiley faces on the rainbows. I didn't notice that on the things there. Um, I did pick up a couple of these. Okay, these were $7.98. Now, at Christmas time, a lot of times they'll clearance out like the cookie pans. I love these little cookie pans, like to use these. So I thought it was super cute. And then they were always on clearance still for like $7. I'm like, that's expensive. So for this to start out $7.98 and a lot of times cute little things like this you're not going to find later. I went ahead and bought two of them. I'll make my own dough. I've never really used these things. I don't know. I'm just not the type for cookies. I don't like using a pre-made mix. It seems weird to me. Like I'll buy cake mix, but for some reason cookie mix I don't use. I don't know. So I bought two of those. And then of course we have Krabby Patties that are like heart shaped and um, that's adorable. So how are you not gonna get Krabby Patties that are heart shaped? So they didn't have a huge bag, so I had to buy two smaller bags. Oh, and it comes with um, stickers. That's cute. The two from stickers, which I didn't know. So I guess there we go. There's another, another Valentine really, but that's not why I bought those. And, um, oh. <laughs> This is not here, neither here nor there, as they say. But I got these things because in Mexico, whenever I was growing up, there was always certain like shampoos people used or things like that. And so the scent of those things always like takes me back from when I was a kid. So whenever we see them, we are like excited. So when we see Van Art, especially shampoo, I feel like I used to have a pink bottle. But anyway, um, this is Herbal Essence. It says freshness, and I know I opened it. Like I know. So they had a couple different ones, but once you open it and you smell it, you're like, yes, that's the one. It just smells super clean, like, I don't even know, I don't, you know, it, it just is great. And Miranda's running out of her little shampoo, so this is for her, really. Um, smells awesome, obviously it's not tear-free, so I have to be careful with that. And then, so that was another one, so, this seems, the scent seems very classic to me, but maybe I'm tripping, I don't know. This one's just very fresh, kind of fruity. But the scent is like, yes, I remember that. I remember that wholeheartedly. So it's kind of fun to find these kind of things. And real quick, I'll run over and grab the things I had seen at Target real, really fast. It's literally nothing. It's just some cookie cutters. They had a bunch of cute stuff in, you know, in their little dollar section when you walk in. So I wasn't looking to buy anything, but... But... They had this cute cookie cutter that does cut out the heart center. And I guess if you really wanted to just make heart cookies, you could do that in a way. But this is like a circle that cuts out the heart. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's one cutter. But I would say, I guess if you really wanted to cut it, you could do that. But they have two cutters. But this is the thing. I was like, what? So cookie stencils. I've never really bought any because they're kind of expensive and they're kind of a niche thing. You have to find people who sell them online and uh, whatever. So these were three bucks. So they still wanted more money for them than like these little dollar things. But... Um, but I thought these were really awesome, especially because you can use them like this to dust powdered sugar. You can put them on your cookies, like when you make rollout cookies. You can put this on there and then scrape across it. Uh, oh, look at the little hearts are still on here. Um, you can scrape across it to, um, what's the word? 
I'm just like entertained by these little hearts still being on here. That's kind of cute. I mean, I can't do anything with them, but um, your royal icing and then you lift it off and it's like a stencil and you'll put that cute design on your cookie. So there's a ton of these on here. There's like this rose, hello love, a heart like you saw in the packaging, you and me, it's a little heart, baked with love. How cute is that? I mean, this is a good size cookie, but at the same time, they didn't have a cookie cutter that fits it. So this is something that you can just, you have to find out on your own. I love you and XO. Super cute, big enough to put like on a little cake or something like that, not just cookies. So I thought these were really great and I was happy to see those. So um, I think that's it guys. So thanks for watching. Um, I will see y'all at the next one. Bye now.